Imagine living underwater, not just for a few hours on a dive, but for days, weeks, or even months. Underwater habitats might sound like science fiction, but they are becoming a reality. This 12 meter long and 7.5 meter wide habitat, called Vanguard, can accommodate three individuals at depths up to 100 meters. The larger model Sentinel. Can house up to six occupants at depths reaching 200 meters for extended periods, potentially up to 28 days. So here's the big question: Why do we need to live underwater now? The oceanic exploration and tech company Deep says there's a gap between humanity and the ocean. We can see deep into space. We can see near space. We can observe anything in our airspace on land and on the surface of the ocean. But the one area where we felt there was a large disconnect, not only in that kind of tangible way, but also in a personal way, was between humanity and the ocean.、Uh, and we thought that that was an unreasonable gap, an unreasonably large gap. And we felt that the importance of the ocean was underappreciated. So, who will use these habitats? The company Deep envisions a wide range of users, from marine biologists studying deep sea ecosystems to global navies monitoring critical undersea infrastructure. According to Deep, Sentinel is being built using a technique called wire arc additive manufacturing by six 3.5 meter tall robots. This method is like a giant 3D printer, but instead of plastic, it uses metal wire to build the structure layer by layer to make sure the habitat can withstand the immense pressure of the deep ocean. We are manufacturing in a smarter way. Rather than breaking down in conventional manufacturing techniques, we're building up much less wasteful. The energy efficiency is through the roof, and it allows new novel shapes to be produced. The applications for large form additive manufacturing. If you start thinking about rockets, if you start thinking about larger submarines, for example, this is going to be a critical unlock to make sure that we manufacture things in a smarter way, in a more intelligent way. Vanguard and Sentinel will be ready to be deployed by 2025 and 2027, respectively. Deep says discussions are underway to pick deployment locations in Europe, the Middle East, and North America. What we want to do is have the same impact that SpaceX had on making space sexy once again. So we're going to create, we believe very strongly, much more opportunity for that cohort of scientists, that cohort of engineers. What do you think? Could these new technologies revolutionize underwater exploration?